Uh, it took me to travel to Maseno took me three days. Uh, the first day I left the island to Lamu town. Now from Lamu town I moved to Mombasa. It was late at night then I had to sleep. Then the next day I moved from uh, Mombasa to Kisumu. I also slept. Then the next day I moved from Kisumu to Maseno. First of all, this is my first math camp also. Even as it is first to the students, it is also first to me. And um, uh, initially I thought maybe I'm going to, we are going to just take what the curriculum does and bring it to, to the students so that they just have the same things they have in school is what they have here. But the way the, 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 the math camp was organized, it was in a such a way that it teaches them the different math concept, but in a different way than they, that, that they use in, in school. And I've been surprised the way the, 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 the students have, have, have interacted during the math camp with the different new things that we have introduced to them, such as computers uh, and the other software packages and the games and, 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 and the videos. 
uh, one of the surprises that I've had is uh, we have had students who have never touched a computer then we introduce to them and within a span of, 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 of 30 minutes they are able to move a mouse and they are able to interact with a software that is new to them. Point F and line Y is equal to zero. Where is the line Y is equal to zero? Which one is that? Yes? X axis. So we are going to use A and the X axis and we create more points. We want to create more points keeping in mind that A and the line Y is equal to zero are our references, but we are creating a point such that it will be the same distance from A and this line. Integration improves capacity because one of the things that happens, probably in mathematics, is that students are not able to see relationships easily, mathematical relationships. When you bring an IT, a technology environment, then they are able to see cases that will not be possible pen and paper. The other thing that it does is that technology immerses the learners. One of the challenges that we've experienced is the attitude and the lack of interest. But when you bring technology, they'll still be learning this fundamental mathematics, but in an environment that is more interesting to them, which we think is a, a real value that is added to education. But it's not just again, is it? Oh, I think it's just again. Yeah, it's just, yeah, again? It's just again. You know, I'm trying to get to the end here, and I, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun to climb this long route, right? Just again. Just again. There's no, nothing else behind this. I mean, I could tell you how it is that, you know, I'm trying to place the rope. Oh, that's a good idea. I wonder how you're trying to place the rope. Surely that's a, that's sort of a math problem. That sounds kind of math-like, right? Like, so, we've got all of these points here, and I have to figure out how to put the rope in between them. Hmm. Surely this is minimizing the distance. Yeah, so we're minimizing, I'm trying to minimize the distance and put the rope down to be as short as it possibly can. Do you guys think that's an easy thing to do or a hard thing to do, to place the rope to find the shortest way through? When, you, when you're teaching a school, you get used to the curriculum and you just, um, you hopefully get better and better at teaching what you're supposed to be teaching, but there's very few opportunities to think about any, any, any maths that's beyond the curriculum. You, you end up just very focused on what you're trying to teach the students. One of my favorite mathematical ideas to teach um, would be, I would say, modular arithmetic. Um, it's a topic that's not generally taught in the high school level. I mean, it's normally introduced as an undergraduate in a mathematics degree. And it's something that is so, as, uh, it's something that is accessible to students. And I found the opportunity of the maths camp to introduce the ideas uh, such as additive inverse, multiplicative inverse through modular arithmetic. The, the vision was to be able to make the students appreciate that mathematics is possible and technology can enhance it. That, 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 that was our vision. And uh, the excitement I'm seeing in the, in the students makes me feel great that they have actually seen it. I also benefit a lot because uh, I never used cards, but I've been using some, some of the softwares that we had in the cast. I've not used the GeoGebra, but I was excited that uh, I saw one of the learners, even after just being shown how to, to touch the, 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 the mouse, was able to come up with a, with a diagram and a reflection, a rotation was, was taking place, and the learner was so, so fixed on the comp. On the comp. And even the, the games that they have been having, it was okay, it was okay, I'm happy. So you have so we have three, five, and seven. Which add to the cards? My experience about the math camp is that uh, I've realized that uh, I'm a teacher teaching, but there's a little, there's uh, more that I've not known about maths. Generally, I passed through the university system, but it's like I had not known much about how to teach maths. Because generally, I've been handling mathematics as a course, which makes the teaching even more difficult to understand. But through the maths camp, I've learned that maths is a game. It's simply a game of rules. You simply follow the rules and then you play it. You don't make it like a subject or a course. 
you make it like a game so it becomes very very much interesting Just seeing the relationship between mathematics and our society in another perspective was very interesting indeed. The other uh, notable uh, occurrence that I didn't quite expect was uh, the intensity to which uh, the rules of uh, the games will be stressed on. I know this fundamental uh, uh, aspect of mathematics, uh, everything is based on rules which when you break you can't quite get things right and I didn't in my mind I didn't know that this important concept of mathematics could be brought up through card games and so I feel um, that's another uh, aspect of the camp which was much of a surprise, a surprise to me. I think part of the reason why creativity and innovation does not take place is because of the way sometimes classroom tasks are designed and I feel classroom tasks should be designed just like what is happening now in this, in this, in this, work, in this um, camp. Tasks should be such that they give a child a chance to explore. They may not be inventing anything new. They could be learning about Pythagoras theorem. I mean, we already know the theorem, but children should have a chance to reinvent it and classroom tasks should be designed in a way that deliberately encourages that process of reinvention. My mission is to teach for creativity and innovation. That's my mission. We cannot realize much in terms of growth and development, especially as a growing country, unless we're able to, to, unless we're able to bring up a generation of people who will not only be looking for jobs, but they'll be able to create jobs. And that can only come about if we teach for creativity and innovation. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Success! <laughs> Yep.